I am Valia, this is Jorge, and we just got back from our vacation in the picturesque Greek countryside where the strays are too many and the mines are too narrow. Jorge rescued and adopted Phoenix, who will be co-presenting our show from now on because he suffers from separation anxiety and Jorge here cannot leave him alone. And I rescued Lou, a stray dog that had been living on the beach with us for 10 days. Uh, taking Lou off that beach meant that I had to leave about 20 stray dogs behind because there was simply no room in my car and no money in my pockets. Honey, can we take Lou with us when we're back from our vacation? Yeah, okay. Can we also take the 20 more stray dogs from the village? Sure, just tell me when to win the lottery and hire a jet. Anyway, we have been away for a few weeks, so we have a lot to catch up. Um, today, as always, we will be covering some of the stories that never made it to the 6 o'clock news. As usual, the entire country was burnt to ashes during this summer and the hundreds of companion animals that were rescued from the fires are looking for forever homes. Some of them were actually left behind, chained in yards while their owners fled to save themselves from the disaster. Oh my god, we have to evacuate, come on! Oh, I forgot the most important thing. Speaking of chained dogs, a citizen of um, the city was never mentioned uh, who spotted a dog chained on a balcony under the hot sun for an entire day asked for help through Facebook. <sighs> Hello? Hello, police. There is a crying chained dog in the balcony across the street. Oh, did you post it on Facebook? After a mass mobilization in Facebook comments, uh, the dog disappeared. Hello, police. The dog is not there anymore. I told you Facebook works wonders. Again, about chained dogs, this gets better and better. A social ad on the Greek TV this summer encourages the public to report cases of barrel dogs in the country. Oh, in case you don't know, barrel dogs are probably Greece's most popular way of keeping a dog uh, chained uh, next to a barrel in the middle of nowhere for its entire life. <laughs> the ad was the initiative of a person because the state could not care less. Maybe we could spend a tiny, tiny amount of our budget for social ads about dog. <laughs> ah, speaking about politicians, a member of the opposition party suggested in parliament that stray dogs who don't get adopted should be put to sleep, focusing on how much of a danger they pose for the citizens. After being bullied to the point of no return, he revoked and claimed that he never claimed such a thing. Hmm, now let's take a look at some of the dangerous Greek stray dogs that pose such a threat to our society. Ew, that was scary. Uh, nine more vicious, ferocious, malicious puppies abandoned in a park in Athens increased the number of dangerous stray dogs to 3,275,349. Oh my god, look at those dangerous puppies in the park! Someone kill them! Our kids are in danger! But thanks to the thoughtful and brave people of the social housing neighborhood in Trikala, who bravely poisoned a couple of stray dogs, the number has dropped again to 3,275,347. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a break from reality, our favorite awe post for this week is Tina, who was my very own personal rescue. She was abandoned at the age of 12, recovered from mange, and is now living in her forever home in Germany. Look at her. Okay. Back to reality. Another female senior dog in Athens who has been living in an abandoned apartment all her life among her feces and everything will be thrown on the streets since the owner decided to renovate the apartment and get rid of her. Which makes you wonder which is worse. <laughs> so do you prefer to be locked up in your own shit or to starve and be run over by a car on the street? 
Come on, make up your mind! In Agios Constantinos, a man left his dog chained to die of hunger, thirst and the brutal Greek summer sun. Uh, neighbors that were witnessing the abuse for days simply did nothing and the dog died of thirst and the heat since the nearest tree was too far and his chain was too short. And in Cardiz, a young dog who was found with a piece of wire embedded in his rotting neck is getting better and better every day. <sighs> Boring! Oh, in the island of Corfu, a feeder for the strays that was placed uh, by the municipality somewhere in the city was converted to a garbage bin. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> by the residents. <laughs> And last but not least, the Clive Dog Shelter that was built on a property that was donated to the charity of Halkida years ago by a New Zealander, <laughs> you heard right, by a New Zealander, was labelled illegal by the state. After years of operating legally, the shelter now has to be closed down because uh, illegal houses that were built uh, around it now make the shelter illegal for being too close to people's illegal houses. <laughs> <laughs> Fat government employees invaded the shelter one day, intending to remove the 150 illegal stray dogs that were living there um, and to take them somewhere. Well, but they were stopped by infuriated citizens and the shelter's vet, who humiliated them to the point of no return. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can find the original or additional links of every story in the description box below. From Jorge, Phoenix and I, have a good night and a good winter if you are anywhere in the North Hemisphere. <laughs>